that the package from Miguel Ortiz? Yes, sir. Open it. Mi amigo, mi padrino, the plan is in motion. Within the next 24 hours, the federal agents responsible for the death of my brother, Luca Ortiz, will be dead. With your leadership, your support, we have taken the first step towards complete revenge. Your participation is most appreciated. To have your soldiers in Texas eliminate a man we both consider a dangerous enemy is a pleasure to say the least. I am forever in your debt. We are prepared to strike in Las Vegas and Hawaii tonight. Hasta luego. Picasso Trigger, as painted by world-renowned artist Guillermo Esteban, is a creature conceived in beauty who protects his life with a fierce brutality seldom experienced by most men. My recent brush with death necessitated a long recuperative period where I spent many hours staring at this masterpiece. I came to the conclusion that it represented uh, a philosophy that I wanted to express. Man must learn from God's creatures to protect all that is beautiful. With every force, every resource, every breath that he takes. I therefore donate this painting to the people of Paris and to the world. Last time you created a media event, you were indicted by the grand jury. A multi-million dollar endowment bridges the gap between outlaw and philanthropist. It's amazing how just a few million dollars allows him to ignore that the Picasso trigger is actually your code name. Art has many faces. I need this time to fulfill my dreams with no inhibitions, no obstacles. I want you to share this freedom I have. You sound like a man who's nearing his end. No. Nearing a new beginning. You'll be around forever. One can only hope.
Yeah. Travis Parker. This is Uncle Long Gone calling from Dallas. You still on that beautiful boat? You bet. Living good is the best revenge. Shoot, when I was your age, I'd made $5 million in the oil business. Spent 80% of it on good whiskey, fast cars, and faster women. The other 20% I just pissed away. Is this a social call? The Picasso trigger is dead. Natural causes, no doubt. Yeah, considering his lifestyle, a bullet in the chest. Any clues to who did it? No, so stay alert. We don't know what'll happen next. Alejandro Felipe Salazar. Gone, but not forgotten. Aloha. 10-4. The Greenhorn Lounge here in the Sands Hotel on the fabulous Las Vegas Strip is proud to present the sexy dance team of him and Patty Gay. Business as usual. You're beautiful. And you're as good as those two girls on that stage. With us, you have a great future. I'm not so sure, Mr. Shabo. Take my word for it. And after a month of this, we get replaced without even getting a step closer to nabbing their boss. I mean, how many women do you think he's kidnapped in the Far East? He's there, the lucky ones. The others they use here in snuff film. I may be new to the force, but I hate being replaced by those two. What does the agency think they can do that we can't do better? What, are you kidding? Mr. Chavo. The homing device. Office. I think I'll take the back roads and make some real time. Yeah, if our cars make it, look. The agency wanted us to look like a couple of real polyester hicks. Well, they went all the way. International scene in Paris, France today, Alejandro Philippe Salazar was gunned down on the steps of the new Contemporary Museum. His recent pacemaker implant surgery was believed to be the motivation for his multi-million dollar endowment. His passion for art was expressed in his incredible collection of Picassos, 
Monet's, uh, Chagall, give me a break. and Esteban. His troops have smuggled in more nose candy Salazar's in this country than anyone. Has every indication of being a professional hit. I wonder who nailed the bastard. From United States right. government agent to international crime lord. Mr. Salazar's body will be flown immediately to his native land of Spain, where his remains will be cremated. What the hell's that? What? Damn! The chopper's got a bazooka! What? Well, get off the road! I can't! I can't! Get ahead! Ortiz enjoyed his meal immensely. Give flower lays to those two. Yellow is your favorite color. Thank you. Here's your change. I'll keep it. Oh, thank you very much. Here's a gift for you. You're welcome. Very helpful to us, Edie. Now that we've done the legwork, we can let the agency decide how to proceed. There's definitely something in the air. I can feel it. The ones with the flower have been scattered this hour. Glenn and Peter have scored. Still. Sounds good to me. Malay, blow them away. Next stop on this tour, Maui. Seven miles across the bay. We'll put a stop to that squealing bitch who testified against my brother.
fun part of agency work. Sure beats dodging bullets. Let's go. I'm ready. Oh, no. What do you think? <laughs> Clayton, you've got style. <laughs> oh, what a good morning. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm sure Jade will appreciate these samples. Start this little puppy. It's a shame we gotta waste a couple of good looking broads. You've been nothing but trouble. Hey, Taryn, check that out. It's like a little miniature Molokai cargo plane. Yes, Mr. Ortiz, I read you loud and clear, sir. Do it. It will be sweet revenge for me. Why is it circling our boat? I don't know. It's getting awfully close. It's gonna hit it! He's going to the barn. Let's go. Get in, partner. I brush down old dealer here. Why don't you take the jeep and go up to the house and bring us some coffee and sandwiches? Sí, si, señor. It's LG. Now listen and listen tight. Someone tried to kill me this morning. They think I'm dead, so I'm laying low. I'm gonna need you over here to help me with this. You start tonight. Female agent's arriving from Paris. She'll be in Dallas by the time you arrive. Her name is Pantera. Spent the last couple of years undercover with Salazar, and she knows all the players. Show her some hospitality, Texas style. I'll be on the next plane out. No, it's too public. Contact the professor and take his private jet. I'm going to plug into Washington with my computer. And meet me tomorrow morning at Big Pines Lodge on Cattle Lake. I'll have full dossiers for you by then. Adios. Travis, 
seatbelt on. I'll try. Here, take care of that. Charlie, take good care of him. You bet, sir. When I get you home, you are in for a bumpy ride yourself. Well, I think I have some instruments to take care of that problem. Oh, I love it when you talk dirty. Hop in, let's go. I sure hope you're right. So what do you think? That blonde's looking over here. I think he likes me. He's not bad looking. I might just make my move. Is that a snorkel in his pocket or is he just happy to see me? <laughs> it's a snorkel, Taryn. I'm having a bad day. to Maui, I expected a brief vacation, but not this brief. Yeah, the boat rental people are going to be pissed. <laughs> Welcome to Dallas. Can you patch me into Jade at Sea Life Park, please? Is 
today we'd like to show you the Hawaii way, the way of Aloha, with Kuala Ikakai, the light and the providing sea. Our dolphins have a special way of saying, welcome to our show. Yes? I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is the samples you sent for, they're safe. Bad news is the boat we were on has been blown up. I think somebody's trying to kill us. Where are you now? We're on our way back to Molokai. Do you know where Travis is? He had to go to Dallas on agency business. He tried to reach you. Check with me when you arrive at your base. Roger. Over and out. Agent Pantera. Pantera is the name they've given me. You're gonna stand there all night with your mouth open. Would you like to come in? Oh. Um, how long's it been? You were captain of the football team, and I was just another one of your conquests. No, 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 no. You were special. So were you. This place um, is furnished in wall-to-wall -wall money. Putting my life on the line for the government has had its upside. What's the downside? I'm practically immune to emotion. Make yourself at home. There's wine on the table. And I'll be right out. He likes you. I like you. Cat's crazy about me. It seems that way. Mm -hmm. You ready? Always. Oh, excuse me. The front door's this way. I knew that. I can with what I have. Yeah. <laughs> Unless I'm nobody should have a body like that. You have some pretty strong points yourself. Is that a fact? I've thought about you. Really? A lot. 
you remember the weekend uh, LG left town? We snuck into his place? Sure. We slept in the living room on the floor in front of the fireplace. You know, I had rug burns on my rear for a week. <laughs> it was worth it. Why did we ever break up? I told you Carl Jones asked me to marry him. And? And you said, I hope the two of you will be very happy together. I didn't mean it. Well, why didn't you say, no, no, you can't? I love you. And I need you. And I want you. The truth? It wasn't my style. Now you don't. Thanks for coming. Mantera? Take a look. You know, this is only round one. Well, Miguel Ortiz avenged his brother's death. What more could he want? Power. Hitting federal agents was just his way of alerting the pros. It was all Salazar's plan. Now the next step is to kill the civilians involved in his brother's case. So Ortiz started the hit on Salazar? I'm sure he did. Salazar was lethal, but he did have a sense of honor. He never would have allowed Ortiz to go this far. What have you got? This is what Washington came up with. It's a real show and tell. You seem to be staring at me. You're the only failure Salazar has ever had. Oh? He prided himself in keeping his cool in the crimes he orchestrated. But he made it a point to get personally involved in your murder. Well, we go back a long way. Yeah. 
Kill him to find out that he botched it up. Too bad he's already dead, huh? <laughs> I like to think about him spinning in his grave. <laughs> We've been made. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go outside. And tell you stay put. Oh, gee. You're not going to take care of this. You know you took my boat. Well, uh, this boat's for rent, isn't it? Yeah. Well, then, there you go. Uh, good day. You 
shot at him 20 times and missed. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Darling, it's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to Washington. Three things up for us. OK. I'll assemble the best crew I can find. I'll have a meeting in Vegas tomorrow. Pussy. OK. Now, where did you learn to shoot like that? Well, wasn't that one of my lessons? Yeah, I guess it was. Jade, have you heard from Don and Tan? Yeah, they're safe. I talked to them on their plane. They're on Molokai now. Here's what I want you to do. Get Donna, Edie, and Taryn, catch a first flight to Vegas. We got some business to take care of. Consider us there. You ready to boogie? You got it. Uh, she was sent to assist us. What do you say we get the meeting started, huh? Uh, I agree. Ready. Cover me, will you? You got it. <laughs> Alejandro Felipe Salazar. Code name the Picasso Trigger. Assassinated on the front steps of a museum in Paris shortly after he donated a $3 million painting. I have reason to believe that Miguel Ortiz double-crossed Salazar in order to gain control of the international crime syndicate Salazar ruled. Pantera stepped us on the second stage of Ortiz's plan. The witnesses against his brother will be assassinated next Monday. Our plan will go into motion exactly at noon, Hawaii time, on Sunday. If we're not precise, our targets could scatter and we could lose a valuable advantage. This guy's Toshi Lum. He's the network's link to the Far East. He takes care of the smuggling and the money laundering operations. Toshi's living quarters are in the penthouse of his office building. We can set it up. It'll be tough, but I can handle it. These two are Glenn and Chavo. They're a henchman for Charles William Patterson. He's the backbone of a white slavery operation that spans half the globe. Patterson's perversion is his sadistic participation in snuff films. Lally is his most recent victim. I'm sure we can lure Patterson out of hiding. Glenn and Chavo work for him. They're at the club for every show. I'll hang with the girls and tie up any loose ends. This beautiful guy's Miguel Ortiz, international drug smuggler and avenger of his brother's death. Although it seems that vengeance has taken a back seat to his desire for power, we suspect that he's the one responsible for Salazar's death. The guys you're looking at here are Ortiz's personal bodyguards. He's never without them. And these two gentlemen patrol the outside perimeter of the estate. Donna, I want you and Taryn to handle Miguel Ortiz. Travis, Miguel Ortiz is the most formidable of the group. I thought he would be your assignment. I believe Travis gave out that assignment to the best man for the job. And I use that term figuratively, of course. <laughs> Nothing personal, Donna. Good, but... let's keep it that way. Donna, can we not let our emotions get the best of us, please? Same to you, buddy. Travis, where will you be in all of this? I won't be with you. We'll station ourselves at Salazar State on the North Shore of Hawaii. Why? What's the point? He's dead. It was his base of operation. Something may erupt, and if it does, I want to be there. Pantera? 
You leave tonight on the 10 p.m. to Honolulu. You'll also set up the communication network for the rest of us. I'll meet you at Lookout Ridge on Sunday. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's imperative that we arrest them all at once. Together, we can break them. And one more thing. Expect the worst. Would you please, please tell me what's wrong? Something about Pantera bothers me. I just knew her in college. I haven't seen her in years. Were you in love with her? Can we just stick to the business at hand? The business at hand is a woman who sleeps with a lethal criminal and does it in the name of the United States government. Okay, fine. So she's no Nancy Drew. You're jealous. Jealous? I don't have a jealous bone in my body. Is that a fact? Check it out. playing in that pro -am golf tournament on Molokai this weekend. That's right. No pro at golf, but I uh, sure can use his driver. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! See you later. Okay, Bye. take care. November 9 or 9 or 786 requesting clearance. Oh, Roger. I'm only six now. You're known for it, baby doll. Here we go. Damn! I knew it. I knew you'd blow it. Uh oh. No problem, Whitey. No problem. This is what I call a gimme. Okay? 90 feet means nothing to me. Might as well throw in the towel now. It's all over. Pull the pin. Someday, Jimmy John. Maybe not. Here's a C note. Take that young lady to dinner. Come on, Willie. You're the lady. Hi, sailor. Want a lift? Aaron, darling, what a surprise. Half game? Ah, not too bad. 
How much did you drop this time? Well... Speaking of golf, want to put her around? Your card or mine? <laughs> The dossier gives me everything I need to know. Walks the beach morning, noon, and night, and has a late dinner at Edie's. Well, since you got that straight, how would you like to become an honorary member of the Mile High Club? Travis, we're seven miles up. And we'll do it seven times. <laughs> then we better get started. taking it on the road? As long as someone's selling tickets, my tail is shaking. She's got the right attitude. This is strictly business, girls. You'd have greater opportunity with us. I'm interested. What's the catch? There's no catch. You guys have a wonderful act. I just love it. But for our foreign clientele, we need something more provocative and risque, if you get my meaning. We're open for just about anything. Oh, that's great. Think it over. There's no hurry. We'll be here tomorrow night. All right. Anything for money. This is going to make Charles William Patterson very happy. I've always loved your back. on the other wrist. Thanks. Spend the weekend with me. You know I can't. I'm on assignment. Is it dangerous? Yes. But I can handle it. Can you handle me? I'll give it my best shot. Professor! Professor, would you like a Danish? <laughs> would I? <laughs> but I am Swedish, you fool. Well, Danish, Swedish, it's all the same. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have two Swedish. Professor. Good to see you. How are you doing? Terrific, terrific. Donna. Hi, Professor. Hey, my dear. Hello. Good to see you. You look Thank you. lovely. Thank you. Hi. Hi, you guys. Well, Professor. This is certainly a beautiful view. Well, you gotta pay the price for paradise. That's what we're here for. I think we got a hands full this time. All in the line of duty, huh? Come. Now, I built this car for Terra. Instructions are inside. 
Looks harmless enough. All right, but also wrong. When you attach the explosives, this car takes on a whole new meaning. <laughs> now, all of this is for you and Taryn, Donna. It's very versatile and study. This is very nice of you, Professor. Well, I know how women like to receive presents. <laughs> well, I'm on my way back to Molokai to meet up with Taryn. I'll take you to the airport. leg up. The master of your art, Professor. Killing is an art form. You're right. Killing is an art form. Look at those two sleaze balls. <laughs> I can't wait to give them what's coming to them. They actually have reputations being ladies' men. <sighs> what a joke. Not for long. Come tomorrow, these beaches will be rid of this trash. told that you had phone problems. You heard wrong. Look, I've got the water form right here. Hey, could you call off your gorilla in the monkey suit? Tour. Rusty, leave him alone. Now you get out of here before I have him bite your head off. He hasn't eaten in a week. I found the problem. It's another one of those defective chips. Doesn't that static just drive you crazy? There's nothing wrong with the phone. Oh, yes, there is. We don't have the proper equipment with us. We can fix it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. But we're both going to be on call. You'll be here, won't you? Yeah. We live here. Yeah, I'm beat, too. Here they come. Hey, you girls were terrific tonight. But how's the new act coming along? Real fine. Why don't we set up a time tomorrow so that we can perform a very special show just for you? Our boss would like to come along, too. 
three is never a crowd in my book. <laughs> How about tomorrow at two? We'll have the room all to ourselves. Oh, that sounds good to me. See you then. You girls are doing a great job. Thanks, Juan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get some sleep. Sweet dreams. But don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> don't worry. We bite back. I bet you do. Well, Cam, I'm gonna hit the jacuzzi. Okay, get you later, pancakes.
hell. Juan, how is she? Patty Case. Oh, thank God. It looks like the bullet just grazed her head. I think she'll be all right. Let's get her to the doctor. Man, you girls really made a mess here. I'm gonna have to call housekeeping. My boys tired you out. You would have been fun. I won't disappoint you. I tell you, Jade, I got a black belt and shotgun. Glad about that. That's another bitchin' day in paradise, huh? You bet, dude. <laughs> Abort Monday mission? Hey, look, man, there's trouble in Vegas. Better get back to house. What the hell is that? It's those broads from the boat. I thought we blew them away.
think we lost him. There he is. Look. Right there. How are we going to get him? Got you a little surprise from the professor. Let's get back to the house. I don't like this. Get your weapon! Check the ground! Our plan must not be compromised! Damn it. I'm running this show. There is no way we are both the mission. Lance! Get me home on Clayton. Spiro, get your gun and get outside.
she. There's an emergency. I'm going back to the hangar. Are you all right? Good thing I was wearing my vest. Uh, I caught a little lead. I'll get checked out. I'll be okay. Okay, be careful. You too. Nothing. I just sprained it, jumping out of bed. Will you be all right? I'm going to be fine. Look, I'm going to go inside the house. I want you to stay out here and keep watching, okay? Okay. Now, the entrance is over there, on the left-hand side. Uh -huh. Good luck, Travis. LG, what is it? Donna, I just arrived here in Dallas from Washington. And if I got a kicker for you. Lopez drove at least 50 yards before the explosion, so that means it wasn't the ignition, it was a remote job. They didn't mistake him for me. They killed the wrong man on purpose. There's a lot more to this than we thought. Mr. Aveline. Nice of you to limp by. You were expecting me. There's an awful lot of radiation in this room. More than from that TV camera. Sorry about LG's death. He's a fine individual. He's alive. And you know it. Yes, I do. You killed the wrong guy when you exploded the Jeep. And you did it on purpose. How to get LG's attention. So he'd gather up his best agents to do your dirty work? Can you think of a better way to get rid of my enemies? I guess I should be flattered. Major corporations, power struggles are resolved by stock options, bonuses. My world's a little different. 
my most prized possession. The painting of a Picasso trigger fish. A creature that rips out the underbellies of his adversaries. <laughs> I see. A self-portrait. Perhaps. I've seen enough of this painting. And I've seen enough for you, asshole. Look, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. I didn't know it was you. Don't worry, I'm okay. Good. Gosh, what happened in here? It's a long story. She was one of them. I knew that. You knew that? Yeah. I knew that. Let's get that son of a bitch, Salazar, huh? Salazar, don't try anything. Keep those hands. 
hands up while shooting. I've seen you shoot. Take no prisoners. Who do you think the man was who got shot in front of the museum in Paris? I don't know, some poor unsuspecting actor looking to make a buck. At least the real Alejandro Philippe Salazar's finally dead. Women, easy come, easy go. Well, they're expendable. So are you. Congratulations, everyone. Washington says, hell of a job. But how did you know the real Picasso trigger was still alive? Well, you see, I had a hunch. So I set the computer to the coordinates on the pacemaker. The homing device did the rest. You see, the Picasso trigger set us up to kill off his competition. Pantera was a double-crossing bitch. She was working for Salazar the whole time. I knew that. You knew that? Yeah, I knew that. Professor, we couldn't have done it without you. Professor, you have fantastic instruments. You noticed. <laughs> <laughs>
And um, what's going to happen to the painting? Yeah, Taryn, what is going to happen to the painting? I have it. And I think I'll keep it. After all, the authentic painting is hanging in the new Contemporary Museum of Paris. This one is only a copy. Or is it? <laughs> Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers. Job well done. Cheers.